Why do you prune? Uh, pruning is important. You really don't get a good crop. I remember when President Hinckley would talk about how in the winter uh, they had a farm uh, down in Holiday and they would go there in the winter they'd be pruning beaches. And he, he says that if you prune the tree right, you're halfway towards getting a good crop. Well, that's really true. If you prune it right, make all the difference. So, let's talk for a minute about pruning so that you understand. If you don't prune at all, what shape is your tree going to be? So here's your, here's your trunk, and here's the ground, and here's your tree, uh, and, and you haven't pruned it, and so that's the shape, okay, without pruning at all. Now, where's the best fruit going to be? Right up here on the top. Why? Better sunlight, full sun, on the, all the leaves. Not on the fruit, but on the leaves. And, and who gets the fruit? The birds. They get it all. So, you've got to prune to bring the crop down to where you get it. And good quality down to where you get it. Because now what you get down here is grown in the shade. And it's no good. If it's grown in the shade, there'll be small peaches and they won't be sweet. And, and so, you want to get it down to where you have good quality, down where you can pick it and where you expose all the foliage to sunlight. Expose it all. So that everywhere you have branches and leaves, but it's all exposed to the sunlight. But what happens if below this leaf, you have a limb, uh, that limb, you have a limb right there? Well, this limb will have small peaches, and they won't be good quality. Or small apples, and they won't be good quality. So you don't want one limb to be in the shade. You want every limb to be in the sun and every leaf to be in the sun. Now you've sort of figured that if, if a branch has leaves about a yard thick, that all of those leaves will get pretty good sunlight. And so, but the limb right here, you'll have a yard thickness on, on this limb, and these will all get enough sun so their the, the fruit is good. But down here, they're all in the shade, and so none of the fruit is good. So remember sunlight, you're harvesting sunlight with the tree, and that's one of the things you're concerned about when you're pruning, is exposing all of your, your leaves to the sun, but you don't want to get the, the trunk sunburned. So you don't want to have a big area of trunk out here like this without any leaves here, because if you have the trunk without leaves over the top of it, what does it do? It's sun, sunburns. And if it's sunburned, especially with an apple, it always follows with a fungus disease in the sunburn bark. And then it always follows with the, the uh, fungus disease with, with borers. And they will invade the bark because it's not healthy, it doesn't protect the limb, and pretty soon you have a dead tree. So you don't want sunburn, you have to make sure you don't get sunburn. So you don't strip all the branches off just because you open it to the sunlight doesn't mean you don't have foliage. You want foliage everywhere because that's where you get the fruit. And you'd like good, good, uh, fo good fruit right up here. You'd like to be able to stand right here and reach out and pick a peach or an apple, which is good quality, right here at, at your shoulder level. And you can do that if you design your tree right. And so that's what we want to do, is design it right so we have good fruit right to where we can stand and pick it. And, and, and if it's like it's a peach, uh, and, and we're going uh, to do it in an open base, and so you'll have a limb like that, and I'll draw a limb like that, but always remember, You've got, you've got branches on the inside to protect the trunk from the, from the sun and to, and to have fruit on. And, and so you always have to remember the branches even though we draw a skeleton. Now, um, the other things that we want to be sure, um, apical dominance. What's apical dominance mean? Well, apical dominance means that if you've got a branch means a couple of things, but mainly it means here's your branch, and you've got leaves that grow here. And remember, wherever you've got a leaf on any plant, you've got a dormant bud. That's just always given. Right here, it'll always, there's always be a dormant bud wherever you've got a leaf. Okay, and what, regardless of what you've got. Now, if you cut it off here, well, remember that the terminal bud, the one that's further away from the center of the tree, is always the most vigorous. And so, apical dominance. 
So if I cut this thing right here and cut this off, what direction will this bud take it? It'll grow straight out this way. It may curl up, but it'll start growing right out. What if I cut it off right here? Then you've got a bud here. What direction will it go? It'll go here and it'll curl up. Now, if I want to spread out the tree, I always prune to an outside bud. I always prune to this bud or this bud, and never to that bud or that bud. Because if you prune to the, uh, to the bud going straight up, you'll get a water sprout. And the water sprout will grow tall and then tend to shade the inside of the tree and then shade all your fruit, which is what you don't want to do. So that's apical dominant. Now, some trees have more apical dominance than others. If you're growing a cherry, they just fight to go straight up. Now, an old cherry tree loses its apical dominance, and then it spreads out. But a young tree goes straight up, and so you're constantly trying to prune it so that you force it to spread with a cherry. And the same with a, a, a pear, same apple. Some varieties have more than others, uh, but the same with a plum. Now, when you get into peaches and apricots, and, and most apples, they tend to spread fairly well, but then you get in an apricot, and, and they spread a little too much, and they tend to come down when they get old, so you have to be careful not to, not to spread them out too much. But with, with, with knowing this strategy, you see, if you really wanted to, you could prune something, leaving an outside bud, and then let it grow another leaf or two, and then prune it again to an outside bud, and theoretically, you could go get it keep it going in a, in a circle just by keeping pruning to an outside bud. Now if you're pruning a rose bush, you want to spread it out to sunlight, so you always prune to an outside bud. <coughs> Most of the things, almost everything you grow, you prune to an outside bud. And you take advantage of the knowledge of the fact that the terminal bud is also always the most vigorous and it'll take off and grow. 